I'm talking today to John Kamau, who's the general manager of Jamie Telecom. Jamie Telecom of Kenya has just announced that it's about to put in place a fibre to the home network. John, tell me how this came about. Uh, this came uh, about after uh, realization that uh, after the landing of the undersea cables in Kenya, uh, the customers did not have the right access technologies to, to enable them to tap into that uh, capacity. So, whereas Jamie Telecom has been involved in uh, what we call bridging the gap between uh, the central office and the end user, we've done that very well for the businesses. But then we've realized that uh, for the home user, this is still pending. And uh, again, um, there's some new applications which are coming up, like uh, IPTV, which will require massive bandwidth. Although the Kenyan user today has other technologies, like uh, 3G access, uh, WiMAX access, the capacities available are still not sufficient enough for the home user to access some of those uh, uh, new new technologies. And that's the reason why we decided to bridge that gap and ensure that uh, the home user has the right uh, or has a feature-proof uh, technology uh, to connect. Give me some idea of the menu that I will get as a customer when you start rolling this out um, next uh, later in the year. Uh, initially, you will get uh, basic internet, high-speed internet. You get uh, voice over IP. And high-speed internet, you're talking one meg upwards. Uh, we're talking about, I mean, literally, the meaning of Jipon is a yeah. gigabit passive optic network. So you are talking about gigabit uh, light speeds. So, but the whole idea right now is that uh, we are building a network that's able to carry other technologies. So initially, what's available today is uh, voice over IP, uh, basic internet, and then you have uh, video conferencing. And then you'll have uh, uh, IPTV, which is which consumes a lot of capacity, but the which will include video on demand. Video on demand, yes, uh, that is uh, part part of uh, uh, IPTV. However, as I'm saying, this is an open channel that allows other applications, which probably we can't, we don't know, uh, they are not yet invented, but it leaves uh, now the people who are the developers to develop applications without the fear that the capacity is not available to them. To the end user. Yeah. yeah, and. Jamie's role in this is, is simply to deliver these services. Yeah, for us, we are a transport company. So what we are doing is we are putting infrastructure that will enable uh, the home users to have a variety of choice. So and uh, we're doing this on open access basis. So we will see other service providers now riding on our infrastructure to reach the end user. Okay, and how many households are you going to be able to connect? Uh, initially, your initial target is 100,000 uh, households in, in Nairobi. And what do you think the total potential is in Kenya long term? I mean, um, uh, it is very difficult to predict a number. I think uh, what what we can say is that um, in Kenya we can only follow like what the mobile, what you've seen in the mobile uh, sector. Mm. Initially, there were numbers being thrown out, but all these have been dis disapproved. Mm. Uh, what I'm saying is that with the right application. Uh, with the right, uh, I mean, the right uh, pricing, then uh, I don't, I would probably think that we might uh, reach maybe not very close to what we have as, as uh, mm. the mobile users. Okay. Yeah. Right. And <coughs> we were looking a moment ago in one of the apartments which you've been running in the pilot. Um, we were looking at the device that delivers from the fiber pair. Um, run me through the kinds of things that people can connect and what they get from that device. Okay, uh, the devices that we're putting initially, uh, it's a device that comes in with uh, about four Ethernet ports. It comes with an um, POT, that is plain old telephone port, where yeah. you can connect your telephone. And it, it comes is, with two of those or one of those? Uh, I, I think it comes with two. There yeah. are a variety of uh, yeah. CPUs. It actually depends on the end user. Sometimes yeah. there's others who demand for one port, others demand for two ports. Yeah. But a basic uh, box comes with the uh, Wi-Fi access. Yeah. This gives you ability to connect your laptops, your PDS to the device via Wi-Fi and gives you about four ports for fixed, uh, you know, the Ethernet connection. Yeah. And then uh, and the VoIP. Now, in future, we'll have, and, uh, I mean, in the future, we'll have also boxes that allow you to do fiber connection between, like, let's say you have a device that requires maybe more than 100 megabits per second, you'll be able to have a fiber connection from that device to the setup. But, uh, for more tests, you're able to connect the setup boxes, uh, which gives you uh, IP, I mean, uh, uh, IPTV. You're able to connect your, you know, if you're a small office, you could actually yeah. connect your router and uh, connect your yeah. local. And it's your own, it's your own home 
network, isn't it? Nobody else is sharing it. Yeah, yeah, not sharing it with anybody. Yeah. There are some people. I mean, this technology is also not limited to homes. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of people who are now working from home. So you yeah. have uh, the small businesses running from home. Right? Like yeah. People have uh, one or two. I mean, between two and three, four pieces. Yeah. And, yeah. and in pricing terms, we were talking earlier about the price benchmark in the market now being about five thousand to seven thousand Kenyan shillings for. Um, presumably, it will fit within that price parameter. Yeah, I, I mean, what, what I said is, um, for us, we are not. We are, we are, people will actually be paying for the services. Remember, this is a platform that allows uh, the end user to access other services. Yeah. So maybe the basic access, maybe the range you're talking about. Yeah. But end users will still be buying other services, like if they're buying. I mean video demand, yeah. those are additional costs that you are going to whoever will be providing that service. Yes, so the service providers in effect yeah. will set the prices yeah. in the sense yeah. what you're doing is... Yeah. So we'll have what you call the basic access fee, yeah. that is what is probably goes to the, the, the transport company which is the yeah. deal, and then users will not be able to purchase the services yeah. that they, they require from... The menu that uh, we talked yeah, about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. John, thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you, Russell.